Hi, this is your girl Tila Lorraine Love, aka the Phoenix of Eden, coming at you right here from New Orleans. Um, this will probably be my last just um, personal blog video. And when I say my last, probably like my last one for a week or something like that. Um, I haven't did, I haven't uploaded a video to YouTube in a minute, so I want to make sure that this one passes through YouTube. There's a lot of stuff I want to say in this video, so I may jump all over the place. So forgive me um, if you know I'm jumping all over the place. So yesterday I went on my YouTube channel and I got a comment on my video, The Butt Naked Preacher Strikes Again. And the comment was from a woman who had a black and white picture, so I didn't know if she was black or white. You know, because there are a lot of light-skinned women who, in a black and white picture, would look white. So, I went on her page, and when I... Well, well, let me tell you what the comment first was she said. She said that I peed through my urethra, not through my vagina, which was a dig at the fact that my vagina was handcrafted. And, um... Handcrafted, or some would use the term man-made. I like to say handcrafted. I just like the way handcrafted sounds. So um, she said, you pee through your, your, your urethra, not your vagina. And um, there's a special place in hell for you. And my response back to her was that if they're letting people like you in heaven, then I'd rather go to hell, you self-righteous, judgmental bitch. And years ago, I would have never responded back to someone like that. I would have tried to take the high road and I would have said something you know very you know pleasant you know still you know a read but it would have been pleasant but I wouldn't have cursed her out you know but some people you just gotta deal with like that you know and that's where I am in my life like I'm not gonna let you cut on me and then I'm gonna turn around and give you love and affection you know i'm not gonna let like you know that saying where in the bible where it says you know if someone offends you then turn the other cheek and then turn the other cheek well eventually you're gonna run out of cheeks and so i i've ran out of cheeks and so um i told her you know i wrote that back to her then i went and i researched her channel and the first video that popped up on her channel she was doing videos about anal douching you know um and she was talking about how she's been really, really backed up and how she needed to do this anal dushing. And she was using words like ass and shit, you know, to talk about, you know, how she needed to dish anal dushing. She just turns out she was a white woman. And we're going to go a bit further in a minute and we're going to release some very amazing, interesting footage. Oh, I'm out here sunbathing while I'm doing this video, so... If you see the sweat glistening on my skin, pay it no mind. I just, I love the sun. Um, if anyone's watching this video, um, I've been having to eat meat because um, I, I get anemic when I don't eat meat. And um, I really want to stop eating meat. Like, um, but I, you know, like, I can't, you know, and especially since I'm going to be spending a lot of time in Atlanta, you know, um, the weather up there is really cold in the winter time and the winter is fast approaching and I really don't want to have to eat meat. So if anyone knows, um, some healthy alternatives also, you know, I'm not, my body doesn't really collaborate well with peanuts and I know that peanuts is a good source of protein as well. And it used to be, it used to work wonder, wonders for me before I started having to take that dreadful med medication from my relationship with those, you know, with those three letters. Um, so if anyone has any healthy alternatives that I could use to get that protein, that, that those healthy doses of protein into my blood, you know, without having to taste like some really, really over-processed powder type stuff, you know, please feel free to leave those comments down in the comment box below. So anyway, I go on her channel and comes to find out after I research her videos further that this woman is a Christian and she is a lesbian and she believes that it is okay to be gay and lesbian and Christian, but it is but for me 
there's a special place required in hell for me. And so, um, this is the type of foolishness that I run across on YouTube all the time. So, that's, that's all of the energy I'm going to give to that conversation. I want to continue to move right along. So, let's talk about these three letters. Um, I've recently been doing a lot of research on Dr. Sebi, God rest his soul. Um, he... He died recently and come to find out that Dr. Sabi, you know, has um, treated the likes of, um, wait, wait, I, did I say God rest his soul? I want to take that out. I want to say um, dwell in power and light. I want to say um, be reincarnated in strength and glory. I want to say um, take your rightful place in consciousness because you truly truly grew while you were in this experience so I don't want to just give you that run-of-the-mill um, autopilot rest in peace I don't want to do that for you so you know I want to say you 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 expanded in consciousness in this life you were a living God here on earth. You were healing and saving people. You were an example of humanity. And I want to say, you know, that to your soul and that to your spirit. Um, okay, so Dr. Sabi knew how to cure AIDS. And um, that's, that's something that I want to learn. Like, I want to heal myself. You know, I don't have AIDS. But I do have a relationship with something that can potentially turn into that. You know, those three letters. And um, what I'm going to stop doing is I'm going to stop calling myself HIV positive. Because I believe that's how I kind of got into this situation anyway. Is by calling myself that. You know, saying that I was HIV positive. You know, like speaking that shit over myself. You know, and giving power to that fucking shit. And, um, you know, I'm not knocking anybody else, you know, but I, I'm not going to give power to that. I'm not going to live my life, you know, feeling weak and feeling subdued and feeling like, you know, whatever the fuck happens, you know, if, if I'm going to defeat this shit and I'm going to defeat this shit before I turn 42, 41, fuck it, I'm going to say 41, before I turn 41, I'm going to beat this shit, you know, I like to say 42, because who knows, the way things are set up, they give you a synthetic pill, so that you don't have to walk through that fire to heal yourself, but I honestly believe that if I was to fast, like doc, Dr. Sabi says, if I was to fast, and I was to clean all of these toxins out of my body, if I was to get all of this junk that I've been putting in my body, out of my body, and I was just to do a water fast for 90 days. And then I was to start putting the right shit back in my body. I believe I could honestly reboot my system. I believe I could honestly start over. I believe I could honestly heal myself. So one of the things that I want to do is when I start working, I want to save my money. And I want to go to a place where I could actually fast. You know, I know, you know, I'm going to look hideous. I might just go ahead and eat and just pick up a whole bunch of weight so I have some excess fat on me, you know, like, and, and, and first just pack on a whole bunch of weight and then do the fast so as I'm losing the weight, you know, I won't just be, because I, I if I go on a 90-day fast right now, it ain't going to be nothing because I've already got off most of the weight. So I think I might pack a little weight on before I begin to take it all off. So, um... I, I want to do that, but I'm not ready to do it right now because honestly and truly, there are some things that I want to go for. And I just feel like after I go on an experience like that, you know, I'm, I, I think I already have the potential to be an extremely deep person and to be very spiritual. And I just think that going on a 90 day fast will probably just totally like, I don't even think I will be able to connect with anybody in my circles anymore like I, I don't know if I would just totally change and if I would just even be normal and down to earth anymore 
and arms. So, you know, after having some type of experience like that, because Left Eye said that, you know, after she fasted for 40 days, she saw God, and then soon after that, she died. You know, then in the Bible, you know, we hear about Jesus fasting for 40 days, and then he died. Of course, Dr. Sabi fast for 90 days and lived till he was 80-something years old, but Dr. Sabi is also a very, was also a very wise and very, um, very deep person. Like, he was still fun, and he was still down to earth, and he was, and, 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 and that, that was encouraging within itself, because, you know, I've never met anyone who believed in fasting and doing serious fasts like that, who was in the type of shape that Dr. Sabi was in. I think, I think that, or who thought like he did, like who, who was still grounded and down to earth, and who could still talk like a nigga. Like, I kind of live for that. Like, if you have not been checking out Dr. Sabi, I suggest that you get into that and you start doing your research on Dr. Sabi before they start snatching his shit off the internet, before um, men get a hold to it. You know, like, right now, they are selling a pill, you know, that's supposed to be Dr. Sabi's pill. And, like, I mean, I wouldn't want to buy nothing if the man not even alive anymore because I can't even trust, you know, like, I trust him. I don't really trust you. You don't know if, you know, pharmaceutical companies had something to do with the death and now they're finna start trying to use his name to sell shit. Like, you don't know what's finna go on with that. So, like, I would be kind of leery about that. But one thing that I do want to get into is I want to get into the herbs. I want to get into self-healing. And I want to learn about how I can heal myself as a person and how I could take better care of myself. Because I do believe that disease, disease, diseases can be cured naturally. I do believe that God, the creator, the divine, the goddess, has placed things on this planet in which we can use to heal ourselves without having to eat processed and synthetic shit. It's very hard to overcome, you know, um, these this food, you know, that we've been trained to eat and these things that we've been trained to eat because it's it's being pumped into our faces every day. Like, it's, just, it's like being pushed into our faces every day. And um, I look around and I see, you know, so many people that look like me that are unhealthy and broken down and sick and suffering. And um, it's because when you look at every corner in our neighborhoods, they're selling us fried chicken and french fries and alcohol and cigarettes and beer. And I mean, it's everywhere, like fast food restaurants are all around us. And it just makes me want to cry. And then when you go into upper class neighborhoods or predominantly white neighborhoods, there's, there's healthier options and healthier choices. And, then when you look at, you know, look at us in media, we're always, you know, playing the slave and the servant and the sidekick. Meanwhile, you know, those of us who are lighter skinned with, you know, more European like features are being depicted as gods and kings and queens and royalty with rich history, you know, so it's like, it's like the narrative is set in the place and so many um, people are upholding that narrative. A lot of times we like to blame white people, but I like to, I like what Dr. Sabi said, and I said this before I even started watching Dr. Sabi. That's how I know it's true. I did a video where I apologized to white people, and I didn't really understand it from the aspect of which Dr. Sabi explains it, but Dr. Sabi says white people are merely following the first law of nature, and that's um, the first law of nature is um, self-preservation. That's the first law to preserve yourself. And so, like, we're getting mad at them because they're practicing self-preservation, you know, by, by, by putting out a lot of images of them as being strong and powerful and, and putting the best things in their communities, like, we're dropping the ball you know what what is good for them isn't necessarily good for us we are we are made different we're not made the same so just because it like like um sun sunscreen is good for white people that's not good for us you know it's 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 there are, there are things like cheese and milk 
those are things that we're not really supposed to fuck with. You know, those those of us who are deeply melanated people, like that that's that's not for us. So everything that's beneficial and, and then there are, you know, African Americans who have a lot of white blood in them, you know, who have a lot of a white background in them. And so that sometimes that's suitable for them because they have so much of that blood in them. But for those of us who have small amounts of that blood, you know, like we wonder why when we start to have health problems, things are not working out for us. One of the other things that, you know, I want to talk about, like, like, I don't want to really have a partner who is, um, who is HIV positive. And the reason why I say that is because with my surgery, um, pretty much, like, my pussy is not passing any HIV. Like, they don't even check that hole when I go in to have, like, myself checked up. Like, they check, they, they stick the Q-tip in my butt. They, they, they stick the Q-tip in my mouth. They don't even swab that area because it is really, like, just a small wound, you know, that is not connected to the inside of my body. So, you know, when I do have an orgasm, that hits air and it immediately like if there was anything in there which it's not because I'm undetectable you know due to the poisonous synthetic pill that I swallow daily um called um Genvoya um there's that you know which which you know who knows what long term effects that will have on me I know one of the long-term effects of it is that my motherfucking immune system is dependent on the shit. Like, so, the the best thing that I could say for people who do have not had a relationship with this shit or who are not in a relationship with HIV or AIDS is just to not get in a relationship with it. First of all, don't speak the shit over on yourself. You know, if you're out there doing sex work, you know, wrap that shit up, you know what I'm saying, be cautious, pull out, don't get yourself in this fucking situation, because I believe that I have the potential to be a very powerful human being, and one of the things that holds me back mentally is this fucking relationship that I have with those three letters, and I have to conquer those three letters, because there's a lot of things that I want to do before I leave this earth, I want to give birth, and I believe that I want I want to go through all of it and I want women to understand because some women might get mad when I say I want to give birth they might say oh you know like you, you know that's patriarchy you were born a man and you want to give birth and you just want to do every fucking thing and blah, blah, blah. well guess what I don't just want to give birth I want to go through the whole fucking shebang I want the 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 well I already retain water I already know what it's like to feel bloated. I already know what it's like to have hot flashes. I know what all that shit feels like. But I don't I would love to have a cycle. I would love to feel the cramps. I would love to go through all that shit because I think that being able to bring a life forth from me makes it all worth it. Like I I I adore women and I adore them for being able to do that. You know, for being able to bring forth life And I have so much respect for them and so much admiration for them. And I want to be able to do that. And I believe, you know, um, as much as I hate technology, sometimes I believe that before I leave this planet, you know, we will definitely, as trans beings, as trans women, um, be able to give birth. And I want to experience that, you know. And so I have to take care of myself. And the first thing that I have to do is I have to conquer, you know, this this ease you know notice i didn't say disease i said this ease because this does not this not gonna take my life over this is not gonna rule me like um if this is the death of me it will be because i gave up and i said fuck it but it won't be the death of me because i because i was actively fighting to make a change like baby you can't sit there You can't sit there, but thank you for stopping by. There's a dragonfly just perched on the iPad just comfortably. I mean, it just, it just sit there like it stopped by. And you know, I've stopped killing animals. Like I've stopped killing insects and stuff like that because I honestly believe that it's the ancestors stopping by to say hi. This son, this, this baby, that skin is cooking in this son. 
I am so in love with the sun. Like, people be complaining, saying it's hot outside. I just fucking love it. I just, oh, my God. I don't know. Like, as the sun moves closer to the earth, I just can't seem to get enough of it. And I just want to be darker. Like, I wish I was blacker. Um, I just love it. You know, I can't, I can't tell you how much I love it. I am so in love with the sun. I love to be outside in the heat. When I feel it up against my skin, I just get so happy. Um, it's amazing my relationship with the sun, you know, and I, when I hear black people complain about the sun, I just get so frustrated. I'm like, you knock off, you know, I'm thinking that to myself. I'm like, you're a knockoff, honey. This is what we were made for. We were made to be out of this. Like, you know, your sun, your hair grows to the sun because it's like an antenna and it's connecting you to that force that, 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 and right now while I'm sweating, like all type of toxins, like that poisonous medicine is coming out of my body. You know, I get my little dose of it, that one pill a day, I put that in, I come sit out here and I let that fucking shit, I let that, that, that excess poison just come out of my pores and come out of my body, all that stuff that I didn't have no business with and that my body doesn't need. I let mother, I let father sky and I let mother get that out of me and that's what's happening right now. You're witnessing, you know, my body cleansing itself naturally and why would you ever run from that? I look at people and I see them and they're afraid of the sun and they're talking about how hot it is and they all slumped over with rolls on their back and you know all uncomfortable and sad looking and just you know just just depressed and decrepit and you know and you laid up under that AC that you know that man-made air conditioner and you think you living good you know you think you think that you think you honestly think that's what's up and you know my heart goes out you know I'm, I'm at a place in my life where I look at people if a person walks up to me you know if a black man walks up to me with five thousand dollar with a five thousand dollar suit on and um a two thousand dollar pair of shoes on and he got a nice jag and he got a, a, a sickening car and all that like I look at him like he's trash and I look at that person who is a bum and who is homeless and who has nothing and in my mind I'm saying oh goom you know I'm saying oh shoom you know like in my mind I'm seeing them as divine because they're not out there harming people they're just trying to live but when you get to a position where you have that type of wealth and you don't share the information to me you're a fucking monster let me say that again. To me, you are a fucking monster. A lot of people talk about how, you know, like we hear black people talk about all the time how they had to move up out of the hood because um, they say I had to move up out of the hood because they were stealing from me. Well, the reason why they were stealing from your ass was because when you got your fucking money, you wanted to go and buy Gucci, and, and ain't no black folks making Gucci, ain't no black folks making Louis Vuitton, ain't no black folks making no fucking red bottoms, black folks don't make no motherfucking Lexus or no Cadillac, black folks ain't making all that shit. So when you come up in that hood and you see people struggling and you trying to floss and ball and you trying to have all that shit, then you saying, hey, rob me because I'm trying trying to shine on you. You don't live in the hood and try to shine on people. You share the wealth. You put that shit back into your community. You build your community. You know what I'm saying? Now, that's why white people have passed down wealth. Because I know a psychiatrist who rides a bicycle and I bet this man make at least 100000 a year on that job and he probably has another job on the side and this man been wearing the same tennis shoes for about three years. He never changes his fucking pants. But not, not niggas not niggas they gotta let you know how much money they got they gotta show it off they gotta dress and then we say oh it's because they didn't have nothing for 400 years let me tell you something we could talk about what black folks didn't have for hundreds of years but let's talk about this let's talk about how we were over there in the country with all the wealth and we still didn't fucking use it we were not showing off we were not all of us wasn't running around with gold jewelry on
all of us wasn't running around with the finest linens and, and the best fabrics because that shit didn't mean nothing to us. We were spiritual people. We knew how to dance and make it start raining when we wanted to rain. We knew how to commune with the ancestors and the elders and the earth. We were powerful beings and we didn't need material things. I keep telling people all the time, we give power to money. Money does not give power to us. We, we are the source. We are the source on this planet. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why we're at the top of the food chain. Because we are the source. Money is not the source. We placed power in an inanimate object. And how you gonna tell me that's fucking civilized when you've placed power in something that isn't even animated? You you placed power into something that can't even move. On its own. So, if you want to talk about civilized, then let's talk about being civilized. But that's not fucking civilized. Putting power in a fucking inanimate piece of motherfucking green paper. That's not fucking civilized. So, when you try to come for me about cussing, when you try to come for me about being ghetto, when you try to come for me about doing my twerking videos, when you try to come for me about anything, make sure that you come ready. Because don't let it fool you. Don't let the braids and the big booty fool you. She's not intelligent. She's enlightened. Hello. Child, I was at um, the food stamp office the other day. And um, a black female was there. And when she was waiting on me, um, she first called me he. And I didn't pay any attention. I didn't have the braids in my hair. And I didn't have on no dress. I had my little short mohawk. And I had on like some jeans, shirts, and a t-shirt. And you know, the weather's changing. So my voice is getting a little heavier. You know, my sinuses make my voice get even more raspy when the weather changes. So um, she called me a he. I didn't pay any attention because if that's what you see, then that's what you see. I'm not going to you know, force you to see a motherfucking woman if that's not what you see. But then she waited a few minutes and she came back and she was like, Mr. Love, you know, um, she said, Mr. Love, like, um, we have, like, I'll be ready with her because I was getting a food stamp phone. She was like, Mr. Love, we'll be ready with your phone in a minute. And that's when I got pissed off because, like, bitch, I didn't ask you for the motherfucking title. Like, I, like, I got, I got these motherfuckers on my chest right here. If that's not an indication that I do not want to be called Mr. I don't know what is. You, you, you was doing too much then. You were doing too much. Like, so, I said, um, I said, yeah, I said, not Mr. I know, no, first thing I said was, excuse me. And she was like, Mr. Love. And I was like, no, miss, miss, if you want to say anything. And um, I was like, it's a whole pussy down here. And she was like, oh, all right, nah, you know, all right. Well, I didn't mean no harm. And I was like, I'm sh I was sure you didn't, you know. And then I was like, I came back at the end and I told her, I said, when you see someone with these on their chest, you just assume that they don't want to be called Mr. from now on. But I could have acted real ugly with her. Like, I could have been real ignorant, real, like, because that Mr. was not necessary. Like, for real. Like, if, if I was a heterosexual male, I still wouldn't want you calling me no motherfucking Mr. Like, that's just, that's too motherfucking much. It's unnecessary. Like, I don't need the motherfucking titles. You could just say Tila. Or you could just say love. Like, you could have just said my last name, love. You know what I'm saying? Hey, love. You know, Tila. You know what I'm saying? Any one of them. Tila, Lorraine, love. Any one of those. But the mister was totally unnecessary, so bitch, you tried it. And the funny thing about it was she's a beautiful, beautiful black woman. Chocolate. Even more chocolate than me. Big old hips, small waist. You know what I'm saying? I, I think she was a little bit thicker than me, you know. And, um... You know, I, I'm hoping, you know, I don't think that it was her being jealous or envious because, like I said, she was a beautiful woman. But it was just unnecessary. Like, you know, you see me with titties. Like, the mister was not fucking necessary. It was, like, totally unfucking necessary. So, like, I was pissed off about that. But I was so nice with her. And what fucked me up was at the end of the thing, like, she gave me her phone number. I didn't know she was trying to holler or what. Like, you know, girl. 
like you trying to see the pussy for real or something, girl. I don't know. But um, anyway, um, I talked about, I told y'all I was going to jump around in this video. And it's probably because it's been a long time since I've done a video. But, you know, I just want to see us take better care of ourselves. I want to see us take better care of ourselves. I want to see us love on ourselves more as melanated people. You know, um, my feet are starting to get hot from this damn ground. Because um, even my sandals, all my sandals done started to warm up because I'm on these plastic shoes and these plastic shoes are starting to get really fucking hot so i'm gonna end this video i was really trying not to curse in this video but you know sometimes sometimes you just gotta you know get one off um anyway um i've enjoyed it we have been sitting out here in the sun baking for 30 minutes now letting that melanin get fed feeding that melanin Feeding that delicious melanin, precious sunlight, and um, precious sunlight. And I'm glad that I was just able to share some time and wisdom with you all. Like I said, um, I'm going, I'm going to conquer this. You know, I'm going to conquer this shit. Like I'm going to get rid of that. You can count on that. And you know, if anybody has any um, things that they want to share, because I, because I will, you know, as as we go into 2017. That is what um, we're going to focus on, you know, in the new year. We're going to focus on, you know, being healers, being self-healers, learning how to heal ourselves, you know, without having to go to doctors and be dependent on doctors and all of that, you know, letting them inject us with all these chemicals and stuff and just trusting them and not doing research for ourselves. That's what we're going to work on. So, you know, I love you and thanks for watching. New legacy and love over money. Mm. Mm.